number three from the reading and writing section module one of practice test five. K.D. Lekha and colleagues found that the sun's corona provides an advanced indication of solar flares, intense eruptions of electromagnetic radiation that emanate from active regions in the sun's photosphere and can interfere with telecommunications on Earth. Preceding a flare, the corona temporarily exhibits increased brightness above the region where the flare is blank. Which choice completes the text with the most logical and precise word or phrase? Is it A. Antecedent, B. Impending, C. Innocuous, or D. Perpetual? So which do you think is correct? If you said B, very good. Congratulations. That's the best answer. Because it most logically completes the text discussion of advanced indications of solar flares. That means it is... Uh, Impending, advanced indication is happening, uh, you know, uh, provides an advanced indication of solar flares. That means it, uh, we can predict kind of thing. So impending, it's going to happen. So the text mentions a study by Leka and colleagues that found that the sun's corona provides an advanced indication of solar flares. The text then points out why such advanced indication would be useful. Why it is useful? Because Solar flares can interfere with communications on Earth and concludes by describing the characteristic of the corona that gives warning of a solar flare. So the text indicates that this characteristic that is increased brightness. So what's going to happen is there's going to be increased brightness in a particular region of the corona comes before the appearance of the flare. Therefore, in this context, the best answer would indicate that the flare is approaching or impending. So B impending is correct. So A says antecedent. So this is incorrect. The best answer would be the one that indicates that the increased brightness of the sun's corona precedes the appearance of the flare. But if the flare were antecedent, antecedents, uh, antecedent means previous or previous, then the flare would instead uh, precede the appearance of the increased brightness of the corona. So that would be illogical in this case. This is logically inconsistent if we use antecedent. And choice C, innocuous, that is not correct because innocuous means harmless. This does not logically complete the text. Uh, since solar flares can interfere with communications on earth, they cannot reasonably be described as innocuous or harmless. Okay. And then D says perpetual. So this is incorrect because if the solar flares have an advanced indication of their appearance, then there must be um, a time before the appearance when they don't exist, whereas perpetual means never ending. So never ending. So it's not like the solar flares are uh, never ending. They stop and then they give an indication that they're going to come. So it is not going to happen perpetually. So we cannot use perpetual uh, because the word perpetual or never ending would in context indicate that the flare exists at the same time as the advanced indication provided by the sun's corona which would again not make logic.